Well, uh, good morning. Wow, that was a pretty awful night's sleep. Uh, clanging and banging in the background. I don't know how anybody would sleep here. But anyway, uh, I think we've got some work to do. We're going to have to try and modify this rover and uh, make it actually usable. So yeah, does that? Let's uh, let's get on with the day and see if anything's uh, anything useful has appeared. Not really. Although we'll take those. Might um, just empty the lockers anyway. I didn't find any in the bed. I think I would have felt it when I was uh, lying on the bed. Felt a lump if there'd been anything in there. Yeah, I'm just going to empty those. And we'll drop them in our little pile here. Um, I'll keep the uh, rounds because if we ever can get a assembler up and running. Oh gosh, that's loud. Um, yeah, we might be able to get some magnesium, which might be useful. Right, let's just check the shop, just in case uh, the stock's changed. Yeah, looks like the same old thing. sell them components but I'm going to need all the components I can get I think. They will buy gold ore. It's interesting because we found some gold so that might be worth doing. Alrighty, let's, um, let's go see what we can do with this rover. Oops, don't forget your helmet. Oh that worries me every time I do that. And we do have an unknown signal over there. Hmm. Wonder, uh, wonder whether that's going to be worth going for. Where did I leave my rover? Uh, there it is. It's only a kilometer away. So I think we'll go and get some health. And I could also do with, uh, because we got rid of the beacon, I think we need to make a GPS here. And we're going to try and set up some kind of a temporary base, I think. Um, because we're going to need to get, uh, you know, like an assembler and a refinery and that sort of thing going. So, let's initially, let's just create our GPS. Uh, we've got a temporary base. That way I can't lose it. And um, we get some health back. Um not getting any hydrogen there. I think we probably switched it off, did we? So I'll leave that here for now. Oh, we have got some money we could have paid in. Alright. Um, well, seeing as that's so close, I'm not going to take the rover. Let's, um, let's just go and grab this. Beautiful view of Mars. Would have actually been easier if we'd have crashed on Mars. A lot more down there. But, can't have everything. To be fair, if we'd have crashed on Mars, we probably wouldn't have survived the crash. So gravity is much stronger down there. Nearly there.
Okay, what have we got this time? Another one of these, huh? Oh, more money. That's always good. Right, let me rescue all the resources I can out of this one, and I'll meet you back at the rover. So we need to make some modifications to this rover. It's very top heavy, it's a very short wheelbase and um, originally I was going to put the um, uh, words, uh, the cargo on the top, uh, sorry on the back and maybe put a connector on after that but I couldn't because it was buried in the ground so it would be kind of handy if we could move that and that's going to extend the back down to here, connector on the back of that. So we're really going to have to move these wheels back as well, I think. So a few changes to make. Let me get rid of all the components I can get rid of. And take the gold with us. Um, and I think just before, just before we go and do all of that, I want to just try, um, let's have a different color, shall we? see. I'm trying to think where the sun goes. It's kind of over there at the moment. Not sure whether we're going to need um, solar panels. Somewhere around there. I can't remember if there's um, any atmospheric wind on Europa. That'll do to start with. So, uh, what have we got? Interior plates. Can we build one of those? We have enough stuff to build one of those. No, large steel. Oh, no. Hang on. What have we got on here? Let's try that again, shall we? Large or small? Definitely large. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Twenty two girders. I wouldn't leave it here, but I, I want to um, just build one just to see whether. A, whether we can, and B, whether we have enough wind. So, do we have any girders at all? Hiding in a box somewhere? No, we don't. Okay, right, let's grab that back. So, Without girders, we can't build one of those, even if it did work. And I think you need girders for... Can't do it in the safe zone. Uh, solar panel as well. And of course solar cells, which I think is 32. station now. 
So, we need to sell all of that. Uh, okay. 0.11. Can't do anything with that. And we need to deposit 6312. Alright, so we do have a little bit of cash now. But no components. Uranium ingots, but I'm pretty damn sure I can't build a reactor. Um, just check these again. Bit early in the day, I don't think there'll be anything here, but let's all have a look as we're passing anyway. So we're going to have to come up with another solution for power. Um, also, I can't move... Th I don't think I've got enough to build another one of those, have I? Still trying to get girders out. Okay, it's saying I can. Okay, let's try it. Yes, I can. Okay, so that should make a life a little bit easier. Let's take all of this out of here. To there. Stay in the cockpit for now. It's saying something's going to collapse if I take that off. Oh yes, the solar panel, of course. Energy low. I have to reposition that at some point. Let's get some energies before we do anything else. So I'm thinking if I can build a couple of connectors, um, then I should be able to power the large grid off the rover. But there won't be any point if I can't build an assembler. And if I use all my resources to build an assembler, I'm going to have problems building a refinery. We do have a little bit of iron. Mm. Problems, problems. Right, let me just get some, some more of that. And how can I get up there? Aha, like that. Um, so I don't think we need a parachute hatch somehow. We can do without the beacon. And we can do with that, but I can't reach it. Oh, yes I can. Um <clears throat> if we change that out. Should bring a 
Fast forwards, hopefully enough to get out of the way. Oh, fell off. Nope, failed. Nope, failed. There we go. Right, don't fall off. Uh. Ah, I think that's about the middle. Oh, looks like we're going to have a clipping issue. I think we're going to be bang banging our head when we try and get in. Oh, never mind. Alrighty, so what else can we uh, do all blocks? I think it's that one gives us yes. And just make sure we got nothing on the build planner. Okay, that's half the problem solved. Now, if I put a connector on there, are we going to be able to connect to it? Uh, you can stick it on at the back here. Ooh, that's close. Oh, small steel tubes, huh? Okay, so no small steel tubes left. Okay. I don't think we need to take those with us. Right, well, very fortunately, we have an unknown signal very close to us. Let's go see. What's that over there? Let's see if we can get any small steel tubes off this. Something grey over here. Ooh, okay, looks like we've had meteors. Did they drop us anything? Iron. Though I don't see any. I think it must have come down overnight and the iron's already uh, disappeared. There's no iron there. That's a shame. That would have been uh, a nice little find. If we can see any more craters on the way. Sure, I don't think that's one. have some, but if I hadn't bought those, that would have been a really lucky find.
Alright, get all the resources we can off this. And we'll carry on with our attempting to build a base. If that was the one I got or not. Alrighty. We're going to have to keep our eye open for any more meteor strikes coming in. Because uh, that might be our only way of getting resources. I haven't seen any deposits in my travelling around, not that I usually keep the drill out because, well, all you see is ice, 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 so I don't think deposits spawn anywhere near these uh, bases. Alright, did we get any small steel tubes? one. So we're going to need ten more. Okay. Um, is there any point? I suppose we could lay out... Uh, where are we? Put a survival kit on there. And... I think it's a refinery. We won't be able to build a big one, but a basic one. Um, I think I might keep these separate for now, just so that we can access them individually. small steel tubes for that. I'm going to try doing a refinery first so that we can use that little bit of iron that we've got. Low. But, yeah, I think we're going to need a lot more resources. I could also do with some kind of storage. Because, uh, as you see, we're, we're getting to a point. So that's the cockpit. We've only got a little bit more in there. Our container is half full now. Survival kit is also getting cluttered. Let's just take those out of there. All right. Um, So there were a number of mistakes I made uh, in the last episode, putting this rover on the road, as it were. Oh, uh, come on. Um, one of them was this wheel, uh, which needs one large steel tube, and I didn't really pay much attention. Uh, but although that one's not built, we do have a light here with a large steel tube in it. So had I been paying a bit more attention we could have taken the thrusters off earlier and stolen the uh, large steel tube out of that. We could have had a proper wheel. Uh, however, you yeah, live and learn. Um,
Right, so carrying on. Just uh, sitting here while I have a think about what we're doing. We need to check the wind turbine and we need more small steel tubes. Um, so, sorry, a bit disjointed, folks. I uh, will explain that my computer basically just crashed and I had to. Uh, uh, well, I, I managed to save the game, but I had to quit the game and reboot. And I've completely lost track. My brain is completely phased out by the whole thing. So uh, you'll have to bear with me. But I think, uh, if I remember correctly, we were trying to figure out how we're going to build the stuff we need. Uh, we need, obviously, to connect power. Uh, what are we waiting on there? It's just steel plates, but that in itself is no good without power. So, another 20 steel plates would do it. And we don't have them. Oh. Uh, that's the cockpit, that's why. Let me just put these things away. We do have some more money. But money isn't going to help us. Alright, just before we start panicking, let's see if we can even get this thing somewhere close to connecting. So we want uh, wheels on. Brake off. Yeah, very back heavy. Backwards, thank you. Well, that looks okay. Yeah, break on, wheels off. Oh, we're a bit low. It might, it might connect there, but I suspect that might be a problem. <clears throat> anyway, we need to see if we can build it first. Um, I right, hope the game doesn't remove that because uh, it doesn't have any power. Hmm. Yeah, that might be a problem. Right, I can steal a load of uh, steel, <laughs> steal a load of steel off here. Uh, I'm not sure whether there's going to be enough to build the refinery, and as I say, even if there is, it's not really going to help as much. So that's the most important thing, I think. And that does have 20 steel plates more than it needs. So let's pop these into here. And that's got 10 more than it needs. So let's take some of those out of there. take a bit of manipulation. I want to keep those steel plates and put everything else back in. Okay, so that's just 10 more steel tubes. That's built and that can't get to. 
That needs 59 steel plates. Just change that so that we can actually get up there. So computers and steel plates, that's going to take a bit. Do we have any more? No. But we can get rid of those now. Gold won't go into it. That'll save us a little bit of weight. And this thing... It doesn't need all those interior plates, does it? Just going to keep the uh, the extra resources. Not that we're short of interior plates, but... So that's just good as... So, where are we going to get all that from? Um, I really would like to move those wheels further back. See if we can do anything with that. Uh, six. So I think we can turn those off. Yeah, we can still tilt. We're going to have to find some more steel. One plate in there. One plate in there. Ooh. Oh, nearly. Tell what I'm grinding here. really need that. That antenna is not powerful enough to reach Earth, so I can leave it there for now because obviously it's just storing components for me, but I don't think we'll be using that one. Big hole there. Um, we can probably do without those. Gives us a little bit of steel to work with. Um, let's firm those up a bit. that one. Alright, how are we going to do this? Can I get under there? No, apparently not. And we use the jetpack just to rotate us over. 
Yes, we can. Okay, that'll just stop us dropping. Hopefully, we'll be able to get the um, uh, thingamajig, the whatchamacallit, the um, suspension <laughs> back on. Uh, actually, what we should do before we do that is we'll just take a copy of the settings. too much about the design. Just want to bring that a little bit further back. And where did I put my wheels? There they are. This is left. 3 by 3 that's correct. Yeah, I had a feeling we weren't get going to get the wheels on there. Okay, put the settings back on there. And we do the same the other side. I really, really want to go and get that unknown signal. I'd like to change the wheels first. So, we copy that one. Right wheel. And the settings back. Right, we just need to add some wheels. So I'm hoping we go into here and we can go to our oh no, part of the group is it wheels 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 rover wheels we'll add those two to the group there we go and then rover wheels I'm hoping we can add wheel there we go so now all I've got to do is lift up and add the wheels Perfect. Worked like a charm. Those up. Oh, media storm. Hope that's not going to hit us. And that in there. Look at this. Oh, I hear me just hitting the ground. Don't see any. I definitely heard them. Alright, so hopefully that will be a little bit more stable than it was and we'll be able to move that solar panel further back eventually, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe we'll just build a new rover instead. Alright, remove that. Don't press the wrong one. And hopefully, switch the wheels on, we should be good to go. Yes. Ooh, sliding all over the place. Right, let's quickly go and see if we can grab the components off this. Ooh. 
Yep, that gravity is very light. I wonder if I hit a mountain big enough whether we could actually get out of the moon's gravity. I'm suspecting probably not. Military escort. What are those around? Oh, big lump. All right, what have we got here? Stop, 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 stop. That looks like a flyaway one to me. Just park over here somewhere. Can't tell where the button is. Actually, I think that's a battery underneath, so maybe it hasn't got a thruster. Yeah, that, that was okay. That was a, a safe one. I think it probably would have flown away when I got close with the uh, rover anyway, so I think we were good on that one. light because that's a construction component. I'll put some lights on here. It's a little dark. trying to get every component because um, I can't see that one there we go yeah it's my only way of getting components at the moment so I want to make sure I don't miss any Lovely. Gives us a little bit more to work with. And we're back up to 12k. Very nice. There's still only one steel tube though. And we need a lot. Ooh. Well, bit by bit, we'll get there. Um, why am I back wheel steering? Rover wheels, that one, and that one. That's better. Um, I'm wondering if it's worth having a little drive around. Maybe uh, put the ore detector on? Oh, that's gone dark. Very, very quickly. Well, we know there's stuff over at the crash location. Uh, not much, admittedly, but that might have small steel tubes. So it's going to be a bit of a long trek. But we do have, hopefully, enough power. So I'm going to have a, a 
uh, a bounce across there. We go and find that, get what we can get out of that, and I'll meet you back at the temporary base. Ooh. Oh, 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 stop, 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 stop. Come back. Uh oh. Stopping is tricky. I just found an ore deposit as I flew over the top of it at a million miles an hour. Let me just come back over here. Where was it? There. Ah. So we'd have to hone in on the exact spot. But let's mark that down. Uh, I think it's NI. So, yeah, that's definitely worth knowing about. Of course. Nickel is of relatively small use to us, but you do need it for, I think, motors, batteries, all that kind of thing. Anyhow, we are just arriving at our crash location, so it's fairly close to that. Oh, oh, stop, 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 stop. Ooh, it's a good job I've got a gyro. Okay. And break on. Right, so, there's, as far as I know, there's, no, there's nothing inside. But, at least these will be useful. So what have we got here? Medical components. Mm. Yes, small steel tubes. That's exactly what we needed. Perfect. So the only other thing we're short of, well, short of everything, but immediately, um, good as. I think we might have to try and get enough stuff to be able to make girders. I think we need that block there, do we? So yeah, I would like to move that solar panel, uh, but at the moment I'd have to move the gyro, the antenna, the ore detector. I think we'll just leave it where it is. Right, well, let's... Uh, oh, we'll clear that GPS point now. We don't need that. Nothing there anymore. And let's get back to our, well, what we laughably call a base. Uh, where is it? 6.8 kilometers that away. Okay, I'll leave the ore detector on. Uh, if we find anything else, I will bring you back. Right, here we are, back at last. Now, I think we should be able to build that connector and get some power to our refinery at least. Kind of difficult maneuvering on ice. I don't want to turn the friction up too much because uh, if I'm leaping across chunks of ice and I've got too much friction on, it's going to flip me over. Uh, right, wheels off. Let's see if we can get this thing built. What do we have? Right, 
15 steel plates. Interesting. Okay. We can lock. Um, oh, that's perfect. I only put one extra plate in it. And our refinery is refining. Yay! We have some iron that we can't do anything with because we need a lot of stuff. There was an unknown signal that spawned over there, but as you can see, it was further away than I was, and I was already heading back. So I didn't want to turn around and go get that, even though we actually really could have used it. Um, 400 iron. That's not a lot of iron, is it? Um... Right, I think we'll we're gonna pay our money in. Um where the heck are we gonna get all that from? Let's clear that off there. Did we get anything we can fit into that? Ooh. Where did we Oh, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Where did we get 18 computers from? Oh, of course, we got them out of the uh, crash location. Oh, I didn't want to put all those steel plates in. Let me take some of those back out again. That'll do. Close enough. Um, okay, so if we put our... Uh, where are we? On the wrong side. Put our iron in there. Can we build... We can build girders. How many do we need? The 20? 22. And we build 22 girders. Looks like we can. Yeah, we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Right, question is, will this work? It does. Okay, so we do have wind here. Although that's obviously not going to be very much power, but that's at least proves that it will work. Uh, where are we? Wind turbine? Yeah, poor clearance, so we need to, need to elevate it. And I don't think... Uh, where are we? I don't think that's going to be enough. We're going to need more. But it's a start. Yeah. Nowhere near enough. If we can get optimal output, that might help. Um. Okay, let's take it down for now. We know we can build it. I'm going to get rid of those for a minute. We've got loads of interior plate. Um, Let's take some more of those and got any construction components. Lots of interior plate. No construction components apart from the ones I need. 
but we should be able to make some of those now. So actually, let's do that. Um, I I didn't. Yeah, actually, we'll put that on there because we also need some of those, nope, some of those up there, and we're also going to need some stairs. Extend some of those out. Uh, one more, that'll do. Give us a bit of a base to put it on, and I think we'll go. Ooh, what should we do? Well, I think we'll keep it simple for now. I'm just going to go up with that. And I'm going to have to build a gantry as I go, which is going to be a bit of a pain. a long way up. Okay, so apart from eight motors, which I think we have, interior plates we probably have, construction components we can make, girders we can make, we just need two computers. And then we can make another one. Um, however, we're not going to be coming up here again, except possibly to weld these up. Uh, but that's going to be much later on, so let's take the stairs down, rescue the components from those. Making sure not to cut the, the wrong one. So, let's see how that's developing power-wise. Uh, okay, so we've got optimal wind clearance, that's good. Current output 457, which is its max. Um, 457 kilowatts. I'm assuming that negative there is because we're connected and it's probably recharging. Maybe. Well, let's see if we can charge up anyway. Yeah, fully recharged 23 minutes. Okay, so we can charge the ship up. I think just for now I'm not going to do it. Yeah, it's up to 90% now, so it is definitely charging. Um, what did we say we needed? More girders. Can't remember how many it was. Girders 24. 
four and eight motors. Oh. Hmm. Let me try that again. Yeah, so just 24 girders. That'll give us another one. That'll put us on the safe side of the power. Um, yeah, we have got computers. I was wondering where it got the computers from. And we did make some more construction components. So, one, two, three, four, one, two. Lovely. However, we are running out of iron fast. Um, question is, do I want to do another tower? I think what I'll do is I will do another tower, but I won't do it on camera. You've seen how I did it. Um, not sure whether to do another tower or maybe to just put a, a cross section on the top there. Without a jetpack, it's very, very difficult to put cross sections on. So I think probably another tower would be easier. And we have got an unknown signal, so let me just lay out the base for this. Now we know what we're doing, but uh, like I say, I won't, I won't bore you with me laying the whole thing out. Uh, you saw how I did it, so where should we go this way? start it there. That should give us enough space not to interfere with that one and it gives us the option to extend uh, cross pieces so we can put five on each tower should we need it. Anywho, uh, that's only a kilometre away so let us go and get that but before I do, at the risk of overloading it, I want to try and leave some of this heavy stuff, bulky stuff like to try and put it in here. Uh, that's filling up fast, isn't it? Oh, yeah, can't get those. <clears throat> Yeah, that's now full. Okay. A lot of displays. We could deconstruct some of those. And I don't think we're going to be using those, but I don't want to deconstruct them just yet. Let's, uh, what should we do? We'll keep 10 displays just for, well, because we might need them. But that does give us some uh, silicon. Not much, admittedly. I certainly don't need all that bulletproof glass, I don't think. So... Just keep, say, 20 of that for lights and things. Uh, that gives us more silicon. And what else have we got? 26 motors, that's not very much. Um, oh, we got construction components there. Interesting. Oh, I see, it's not accessible. That's why. Where is it? 
Yeah, we should be able to bring that through. No, oh, I wonder why it was telling me I didn't have any earlier. Um, don't think we can deconstruct these things because I don't think we can build them in this. I think you have to be able to build them in here to be able to deconstruct them. We can do the... Oh, we can do the ammos, not the guns. Just some of the guns. Alright, let's see if we can do that then, because that frees up a load of space. Uh, oh, okay, it's storing that in the survival kit because... Because we're full, I'm guessing. Uh, right, struggling a bit. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> try and cut out some of the more boring bits, but uh, put that in there. And then production, disassembling. We'll see if it manages to do all of that, but that gives us a little bit of nickel and some magnesium. So I haven't yet found a use for, for guns. Um, sorry, I'm all of a dither. Right, let me just pop that in there. Um, okay, let's go and get this. Okay, right, what should we do next? really need to find a supply of resources so I need to get that other um, wind turbine up so we'll, we'll get that done and um, get some more power coming into the base Oop, come back overshot I'm not going to hook the rover up I don't think going to just try and do what we can do with base power if it's all possible but um, yeah leave that with me while I quickly throw this up and I'll bring you back in a minute oh my word well <clears throat> finally got it going but uh, that was a nightmare. So, yeah, keep falling off the little platform that I built. And <laughs> Anyway, we got it now, and we do have another unknown signal, which I think we should go and get. More resources. Two and a half kilometers isn't too bad. So, um, big trek again. I'm keeping my eye open just in case there are any ores. But I don't think ores or rocks spawn. Ooh, meteor. Ooh, stop, 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 stop. No, I didn't see any. I didn't see any markers. Oh, well, maybe have a look at that on the way back. I think that was an old one, so. Don't think there'd be anything there. Yeah, rocks and uh, ore deposits. I don't think you get those around. Uh, ground stations, so until we start travelling a little bit further afield, I think we're going to be out of luck. Yep, this looks like another same type. So, given the lack of resources ooh, nice. um, on the moon here, and the fact that Mars is only just there, we know that's jam-packed with resources. I wonder if there's 
any point in considering a simple vehicle that would take us from here? Maybe land with a parachute? Oh no, we can't make parachutes, can we? I think to make parachutes requires gravel. Uh, gravel requires stone. And of course we don't have any. Okay, well, that was just a thought. No, yeah, our detector's not picking anything up. I will have a quick look, just in case. A little bit of red there. Oh, got some uranium and a little bit of iron and an awful lot of ice. Okay, well, I'll take it. Um, actually, let's chuck that over here. Just see if we can get any more out of that. I don't think uranium is going to be very uh, helpful from a point of view of us using it. But it might be helpful from a point of view of selling it. Um, I can get ice any time I want it, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's pop that in there. Let's have a quick look at this one. And blues are ice or cobalt. Just worth having a little dig around just in case there's anything like the uranium was hiding. I didn't see that. No, just ice. Okay, well that that was a win. I'll take it. Here, I didn't see any other craters. Okay, so, uh, where did it go? That can go, that can go. We can try and sell that. There isn't enough gold to be of use. Um, let's pop that in there. And, yeah. Right, let's pop to the shop. See if we can sell that uranium. Paying our money into the bank, and uh, I think we're going to have to call it good there. Stuck on that roof again. anything decent appeared. Well, again, actually these tools, we might be able to um, disassemble those now that we've got an assembler. Ooh, more money. Oh, didn't want to go to bed. Ooh, yes. Lovely. 
don't know who it is that keeps leaving that there, but uh, thank you very much. I'll take it. Um, yeah, we can take all the rubbish now, can't we? Alrighty, 26,000. Very nice. And 447 left. Okay. And uranium ore. So all of that. Very nice. So we're up to very nearly 50,000 credits just from scrounging around. Um, it is a real shame that I can't sell the power kits and things back to them. Uh, because they don't need them anymore. We can buy iron ore. That's interesting. I wonder if we should maybe... Or iron ingots. Well, we can process it ourselves, and I'm sure that would be cheaper. Uh, they do have data pads, which might give us stations close by, but I think probably they're all going to be way too far away for us to get to. Um, we can get nickel. We know where nickel is. Platinum. Hmm. Be more interested in cobalt, I think, at the moment to make some better tools. Don't I think we're quite a long way off anything that uses platinum. But I haven't found any iron ore other than that little bit that we had. I'm not going to be able to pay for that much. What about 400? That's all our money. No, I think I'm going to keep the money and hold out for finding some. We found some nickel. We found a nickel deposit. I think I'm going to wait and see if we can find uh, an iron deposit. Um, silicon is quite expensive. Yeah, let's say we were to buy 50 silicon, 8,000. Silicon isn't used for much. Mostly glass. We have got some. So, no. I think I'm going to save my money. It's there. Well, maybe there if we need it. And, um, yeah. If we can find a station selling them, we might actually be able to save up and buy ourselves a ship that will get us home. But that will cost millions. So we're going to need to get a lot of money before that happens or alternatively a lot of resources so that we can build one so we're a little way off that right let me see what we can do with all of this uh, oh let me short a space are we those out. Okay, so it won't take those because we can't make them. That's fair enough. And we can use that. And we can't put that in there because it can't refine it. Collection. Um, just going to pop those in there for now and that. Alrighty, so let us go to disassembly and we've got one of those. Can't see for that label popping up. Alrighty. So 
So what have we got now? For 400 iron, a little bit of silicon, tiny bit of nickel. And we do actually manage to get some gravel. But uh, not much I can do with that. Mm, interesting. Okay, guys. Well, um, I think I'm going to go and... Uh, overnight the sun's gone down i'm going to go overnight in their one of their beds in there that they very kindly left us but um we're making progress slowly I need to get some lights up so you guys can see what's going on but that's going to require power which i definitely don't have um yes there was one other thing i was going to do but i think i'll leave it for now i was going to put a conveyor in here um, to connect those two together and then move the connector onto the conveyor so that we've got direct transport of everything um, but that can wait we've not really got enough resources at the moment to, to warrant having everything piped up um, I can just move it by hand if I need it so in the next episode uh, we're going to continue the struggle of finding resources uh, I hope to be able to find some stuff, uh, some steel plates and things, so that we can actually start building some kind of a base. It's only a temporary base. I don't want to get too silly with it. We just basically need to try and get off this moon, this ice rock, or ice ball, or whatever you want to call it, um, and get somewhere that does have decent resources. Um, but that's for the next episode or several. Thank you very much for joining me. If you're enjoying this series, please click the like button. It helps me enormously. And if you haven't subscribed so far, please consider doing so and hit the alarm bell. You get notifications when I release videos. But uh, in the meantime, storm inbound. okay. I was going to say in the meantime, take care of yourselves and I'll see you on the next one. Uh, uh oh. Stay away from my base. Oh, that looks close. No, oh, that's fine. That's over there. Oh, I think we're good. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go check out those meteor storm things and see if there's any resources, but I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye bye now.